Welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. Um, it is, when is it? It's February 4th at about 8 a.m. I was up this morning around, I think, 5.30 a.m. Blue Dog had to make a pee run outside. We had a, a major snow event in the area. Well, I should say a major uh, weather event. When I first moved here from DC, Baltimore metro area, I was saying about the area where I moved to having less snow and stuff. And people were like, are you sure? You know, they get as much as we do, blah, blah, blah. And I knew they didn't just by looking at the stats and I'm a lot further south now. So I wanted to show everybody what a major storm event looked like in the area I moved to. Now, we mostly got freezing rain, and that started, uh, I got home Thursday morning around 1 a.m. or so. Puppies are barking. Hi! Yeah. But uh, after that, it was just like snow. We did get some more freezing rain, then we got more snow. But, and I had people on Facebook asking me how the road is. Now, they call this a highway out here. And I know a bunch of people are, are laughing right now. Yeah, I, I, I'd call it a road. It's actually a SR 56, which stands for State Road 56. In the area, it doesn't seem like they really give the roads names. It's more like numbers, like SR 56. Uh, CR 25, which would be a, a county road. But the plow truck's been going through pretty good. Take a look down that way. Take a look down this way. And right down there, I know I, I've had that in videos before. It's a, oh, I forget, CR 475. Cato Winslow Road, Jasper Road. But over here is CR 500. Like I said, that's, that's a county road. Yeah, there's like no traffic, man. It's like eight o'clock in the morning. But like our, our county roads, they really haven't been doing much. Mostly people driving. See back there. Go down back this way. While I'm out here, I'm gonna get my mail. Now, when I lived back east, I had a buddy by the name of Dennis. He worked at one of the liquor stores um, it was Paul's Pit Stop in Nimitzburg, Maryland. Man, I remember one year we got like, I know it's close to two foot of snow. We're using yardsticks to measure it. But that, that place never closed. Now granted, Dennis lived upstairs in one of the apartments. There we go. Oh, junk mill. But uh, he, he'd come down from his apartment, clear out one parking spot. You only needed one because that's all the customers you would get. Somebody would pull in, wait, wait in the road. They'd pull out, then they'd go get their beer or whatever. Hopefully you can hear. Blue, Blue Dog's going crazy. He thinks we're going somewhere today. And I'm going to take some pictures, put up on Facebook, so people know what the roads are like over here. But for me, it's funny they call that a highway. You have one lane going each direction and no passing area. There he is, right back there. 
going nuts. He usually roots around in it. Yeah. Get a little excited to get his cough on. Still got my targets up. You can see how we got the ice. That's all the road was there for a while. Thursday night, or so to say, Friday morning, or Thursday night, Friday morning. I got some of that cleaned out during the spring. Looked like the guy just threw garbage in there. Got a little more clear out over that way. But yeah, there's my mower. For reference, how deep the snow is. I mean, you look at my footprints. Here we go. Sit my hand down in here. About that deep, just a couple inches. But I mean, it shut the pretty much shut the whole county down. Liquor stores were closed, which for me, for me, was kind of unusual. But well, I'm gonna go ahead and get off here clean off the car. I just wanted to share it with people because I know everybody was saying about how how bad Indiana was going to be when I moved here. But trust me, it's really not all that bad. That's two inches. They just don't have the equipment like they do back east and up further north. Okay, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button probably in this corner, maybe. I'm not sure. Or it could be this corner. And as always, thanks for watching.